This is Movie Shortens. Follow us today to the movie titled Little Nicky. Be aware, there are spoilers. There is a man sitting on a tree with a setup like he's having dinner. He takes a sip of wine and slowly spies a very hot lady from her bedroom's window. As he is very satisfied with the scene, her son enters. He makes a phone call to their house and requires the son to get out of the room. Just then, the lady spots him from the window. The man gets a slingshot in the eye, dropping from the tree. Within minutes after that, he finds himself floating in a cloud pool. He ends up going through the wall of soul in hell. Nikki, the Satan's sweet son, enjoys the rock music before the demon assistant Jimmy walks in. He tells Nikki to come to the throne room under his father's order. Nikki has two brothers, Adrian, the most intelligent, and Cassius, the silly but strongest. They have hated Nikki and mind controlled him for fun since he was born. Nikki has a speech disorder caused by Cassius. He hit Nikki in the face with a shovel, making his jaw deformed. Seeing Cassius hurt Nikki again by mind control ability, Satan walks in and punishes him. The father and sons join a meeting to decide who would be the next successor for ruling hell. Satan says it is difficult for him to decide who keeps the throne among the three sons. He thinks the sons need more time to learn about the balance between the good and the evil. Therefore, he'll keep the throne for himself. Displeased with Satan's decision, Adrian and Cassius decide not to serve in hell for the next 10,000 years. The two then come up with their own evil plan, coming up back to the earth and creating their new hell. The two then run backward to the Wall of Soul. As they jump over it, the wall becomes frozen, blocking the only entrance to hell. When getting the bad news, Satan lets Nikki know that his brother's action would make him die. If the Wall of Soul is blocked, there are no more evil souls coming. This causes Satan's body to begin decomposition. To stop them, Nick is sent to Earth. He will have to find his brothers and trap them in a silver flask. Nikki has less than a week to save Satan. Returning to Earth, Nikki has difficulties staying alive. He is killed and sent back to hell several times. Upon getting back, Nikki meets a talking bulldog called Mr. Beefy, who is his father's best friend. Nikki seems very scared of the real world and rushes to find his brothers. Beefy tells him that it is not easy to find them because they can possess people and become different from their original appearances. At first, Beefy teaches Nikki to put on warm clothes and eat food. He then takes Nikki to share an apartment with a struggling actor named Todd. Knowing that Satan is running out of time, Nikki holds the flask and forces anyone he sees in the street to take a sip, aiming to expose his brothers. Nikki gets hit at every single attempt. Meanwhile, Adrian and Cassius possess religious and political leaders to join their scheme. Poor Nikki has been very enthusiastic to find his brothers but he's been failed and become exhausted. While sleeping, his flask is stolen by an old man. Nikki wakes up and panics knowing that his flask is gone. Luckily, he runs into the flask at the man's open fair. When he asks the man to give it back, the man threatens him. Nikki gets to see Valerie, a design student. While the couple are walking together, Adrian spots Nikki across the street. Nikki once again is mentally controlled scaring Valerie away. Adrian makes Nikki go to hell one more time by setting him up with a car accident. At home, Nikki encounters his brothers possessing other political and religious VIPs in the city on TV. Beefy decides to teach Nikki how to release the wickedness inside him. While learning, Todd enters the living room. He asks to use the TV for the basketball game. Just then, Nikki sees Cassius on television, possessing the referee of the game. Nikki immediately runs to the court to capture Cassius. Taking this opportunity, Nikki starts to use his evil power, trying to defeat Cassius with his great performance on the court. Nikki then tricks Cassius to take a sip from the flask, eventually tapping one of his brothers inside. Impressed by Nikki's talents, Metalheads John and Peter decide to become his forever fans. After the game, Nikki brings his fans to the apartment. They soon bond with Todd and Beefy. The group have fun time together as good friends. They also encourage Nikki to find Valerie and apologize to her. Nikki then gets the courage to see Valerie that night. Nikki fails to take Valerie back at the beginning. He gets pepper sprayed and falls off the building. However, he can use his power to lift himself back to Valerie. At the end, Nikki explains to her about his identity and why he is on Earth. Valerie accepts him. The two fly in the sky to enjoy the city at night. The following day, Adrian possesses the chief of police department and accuses Nikki of being a serial murderer in the city. Elsewhere on the street, Nikki hasn't known about this and still enjoys his new day. People around start to hunt him for the reward from the police department. Confused and scared, Nikki turns himself into a thousand spiders and fights people away. Coming back home, 
Nikki learns about Adrian's evil trap. He asks the friends to kill him so he can return to hell and talk with his father. In hell, Nikki realizes that Satan is now badly falling apart. He has hearing troubles as the ears are gone. The demon assistant panics because of the midnight deadline to capture Adrian and Cassius is only hours away. Nikki assures Satan that he'll try his best to save his father. Returning to Earth, Nikki and the friends think of an idea to capture Adrian. John and Peter pretend to meet the chief of the police department. They let him know about Nikki's location. The two take the chief to the subway station. The team arrange to have Todd and Beefy arrested instead. While waiting for Nikki, the chief reveals himself to be Adrian. Just then, Valerie disguises as a drunk woman with a flask covered in a bag. She gives it to John and Peter, attempting to trap Adrian. Seeing Peter is strangely worried while John keeps cool, Adrian realizes the trick. Later, John reveals to be possessed by Nikki. Adrian decides not to release Cassius out telling him that hell only needs one next Satan. Meanwhile, Beefy manages to escape from the police and comes back to help Nikki. Back to the subway, Adrian captures Valerie and threatens Nikki to take a sip from the flask. As Nikki is about to drink, Beefy arrives on time and attacks Adrian with an arrow. Adrian grabs Valerie down the track as the train is coming. Nikki storms in to save Valerie by throwing her out of the track. Adrian and Nikki are eventually killed by the train. A moment later, Adrian shows up in front of his father and questions Nikki. Adrian then dethrones his father and becomes the next Satan. He arrives on Earth and lets all the humans know that he'll kill them in 50 minutes. Adrian plans to turn Earth into hell. Meanwhile, Nikki finds himself in heaven this time. He meets his mother Holly again. She tells him that he can only fight Adrian by his inner light, an ability that he was actually inherited from her. She then gives him a mysterious orb and encourages him to be brave and fight for the right. Back to the Earth, the demons discover Nikki and try to attack him. Nikki creates gifts for them which makes them respect him enough to join Nikki and stop Adrian. Coming to see Adrian with goodwill, Adrian kills one of the demons, making them all run away from Nikki. Now Nikki has to deal with his brother alone. Both of them decide to fight inside the flask. Here happens to be a three-way fight among the brothers. They fight fiercely inside the flask with the cheers from his friends outside. Nikki finally gets out of the flask alone, signaling the win. However, when Valerie kisses him for the victory, she realizes something is wrong. Nikki reveals to be Adrian and he's turning himself into a bat. With the help from Valerie, Nick can escape from the flask. Nikki decides to follow his mother's advice to destroy Adrian. When he breaks the orb, Ozzy Osbourne appears, bites Adrian's head off and sends him back to the flask. Mission completed! Valerie has to kill Nikki so he can return to hell and bring the flask to his father before midnight. Nikki saves Satan just in time. Later, he regains his body and the throne. Satan allows Nikki to stay with Valerie on Earth as he deserves that. The film closes a year afterward when Nikki and Valerie live in New York with their newborn child, Zakaria. John and Peter die in a plane crash and now live happily in the hell of Nikki's old bedroom. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this and don't forget to turn on your notification. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.